This is Comic Support, where we give you upcoming stories for new comic book readers and comic book super fans. In this issue, I have 10 Marvel Comics issues coming to your local comic book shops this August. There's a lot of new things going on, so follow us as we talk about Marvel's Fresh Start, continuing next. Welcome to Comic Support! I'm Leon Scorpius, and we're going to talk about Marvel's Fresh Start continuing in August. There's been so many cool announcements, this is going to be a great issue, and these issues you're going to want in your pull list, so make sure you follow along with me. I want to give a big thanks to Taymation Studios, as always, for publishing our videos. You can check out all of our fun videos, including night games and tape plays here, by hitting subscribe and hitting the bell for notifications. If you enjoy Comic Support and this video, Give us a like and comment below on what comic books you'll be picking up this week. We've got some major announcements in the month of August and pick number one is the biggest for the month of August and that is Fantastic Four number one. Coming to us from Dan Slott, the writer of Amazing Spider-Man for the last 10 years. He has been revealed to be the new writer of Iron Man and now he's revealed that he is going to take on Marvel's first family. The Fantastic Four have been gone since Secret Wars. They have not been complete. We've seen Thing as part of Guardians of the Galaxy and as an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, we've seen Johnny Storm uh, hanging out with the Inhumans and being a part of Rogue's Uncanny Avengers. But we haven't seen them with uh, Reed Richards or Sue Storm in forever. Reed and Sue, of course, after Secret Wars, went out in space to fix the multiverse and finally, we're going to see them come back and in some way find out how they have to work with or work against Doctor Doom. If you're following Marvel's 2-in-1, which is stories of the Thing and Human Torch right now, there is some hints that Doctor Doom is coming back into their lives in some way, shape, or form. So we're going to hopefully see some of that storyline come back to the Fantastic Four. But you're going to see tons of variants for Fantastic Four. And this is a perfect jumping on point if you missed our favorite family of superheroes. And who knows, maybe they'll be joining us in the MCU as well. Pick this up and find out. Pick number two is Extermination. Number one and number two by writers Ed Brisson. And we also have Art and Colors by Pepe Larraz, one of the coolest coming from Marvel Comics these days. And this if you had noticed, had kind of the, you know, the X in it. It's not spelt like X hyphen termination. It actually has the EX. So uh, they're kind of just softcore x men in here. We have the Time Displaced X-Men. Um, time Displaced OG X-Men, I should say. Being hunted down. Uh, their absence from their own timeline is finally catching up to them. And it's going to be really interesting. They've been teasing this for the last few months. And it's finally going to start here in the summer. Again, this is a limited run, one out of five. Uh, so it's a tiny comic book event. It reminds me heavily of Days of Future Past. You even see some variant covers with the OG X-Men in that hound costume. And so it's going to be really fascinating to see what happens. Everybody's been kind of predicting what's going to happen now since we have multiple Wolverines. We have two Jean Greys now. Um, definitely two beasts, there's been two Icemans and two Angels. Uh, only one Cyclops, because the original, the older Cyclops is dead. But you still have young Cyclops around. And we've just been wondering, are they going to stick around? Are they going to go away? This comic book might answer that. Uh, it may not. So, but we'll find out what happens with them. I'm excited for this journey, and you should be too. Pick number three is Infinity Wars number one and number two. I really hope this continues to be a bi-weekly so that we can get a story from Jerry Duggan and uh, we have art and colors by Mike Diodato Jr. This is the Infinity Stones coming to Earth and it's time to fight over them again. But it's exciting. There's a lot of great new characters that are following with Infinity Wars. We've got Black Widow has one of the stones. Captain Marvel has a stone. I, I believe that Doctor Strange has a stone now. But the big mystery and the reason why you should be picking up Infinity Wars is they've been teasing a brand new character named Requiem. Who is Requiem? We'll find out in this series. I believe it's going to be one out of, this is one and two out of six. So a smaller event, but we're going to get a lot of great action and adventure from the Infinity Wars series. If you've been reading Infinity Wars Countdown or Infinity Countdown, 
uh, you'll know that this is where you can read stories for the Guardians of the Galaxy. And we are going to have a fun-filled adventure with the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy, just like in the MCU movies. So join us on this adventure this August. Pick number four. This is it, everyone. The moment we've been waiting for. It is Kelly Thompson's ongoing series, West Coast Avengers number one. I'm super excited about this because we have all been very sad since Hawkeye uh, stopped its run and we were wondering when is the next time we are going to see Hawkeye and this is it. Kelly Thompson is bringing back West Coast Avengers with artist Stefano Caselli and it's Hawkeye and Hawkeye. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because Hawkeye is one of the heroes that doesn't have to have another adjective you know, before or after. They are both Hawkeye. You have Hawkeye Kate Bishop and Hawkeye Clint Barton together again in this amazing West Coast Avengers. And they are not alone, they're bringing some friends with them. If you followed the Hawkeye series by Kelly Thompson, you'll notice that at the very end, uh, Kate Bishop's love interest is uh, a human and a mutant. I don't know if we have all the answers yet, but he has superpowers and his name is Fuse. He's joining their West Coast Avengers version and they're bringing their friends America Chavez, Gwenpool, and Kid Omega, aka Quentin Choir. Or maybe it's the other way around. Quentin Choir, aka Kid Omega. I really wish they would drop the Kid Omega thing and just call him like Q or something. But he's one of Marvel's crazy uh, superheroes on the X-Men. He's this young kid with psychic abilities that rivals the Greys and we will see them all together. I really like this mishmash series happening in the West Coast because, come on, things happen in the West Coast too. Not all the bad stuff happens in New York. So we have a brand new superhero team. There's big threats headed to the West Coast and I'm proud to have Hawkeye and Hawkeye represent. Pick number five is The Punisher number one and number two. This is a great jumping on point for those that love Punisher. Uh, maybe you've watched the Netflix series and you're looking for some comic books with crazy action. This one is by writer Matthew Rosenberg. He's continuing his writing duties on The Punisher and they're just renumbering for Marvel's fresh start. Marvel is doing a great job of reintroducing these characters to us and in this series you're gonna see that the Punisher doesn't have the War Machine armor anymore. He had the War Machine armor for the past few issues but he's still better than ever. Pick this up if you're looking for some fun action adventure and of course all the carnage that comes with the Punisher. Pick number six is Wakanda Forever Avengers number one. So we are back with the Dora Milaje and they are being joined by who else but Black Panther. He joins the fight against Nakia who is the AKA supervillain Malice. If you've been following the Wakanda Forever series, you'll know that there's an epic adventure. We had Spider-Man join, we had the X-Men come in, but in this spot, we know that Storm and the X-Men have been defeated by Malice, and Black Panther has to come in and save the day. So check this out if you're a big fan of Wakanda, and we'll find out how the Avengers come in. We know that if you've been reading the Avengers series this summer, that Black Panther is a main character on there, so hopefully we'll see some of his friends in here helping him out. Pick number seven is Venom First Host number one. So this is a limited run. It's going to have five issues on it. It's by writer Mike Costa with art and colors by Mark Bagley. So before Amazing Spider-Man, before Venom, there was the first host. It's been kind of a crazy telling, a uh, retelling of the origin story of Venom. If you've been following the Venom Marvel Fresh Start line, you'll know that there's been other people with the symbiote. And does Eddie Brock trust Venom in this first host to give him up to try to save the universe? Ah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. The, this is a really exciting one-off story. They're really giving us a lot of Venom. So we are led up for the Venom movie coming out. Uh, if you love Venom, this is another great Venom book. Pick number eight is another Venom story coming to us in the month of August. It is Venom. Or Venom. Either way, it is the group of symbiotes way before Eddie Brock became Venom. And apparently they're in the Vietnam War. So I really don't know where this one is going. But, uh, you know, if you want more Venom and you want some of this crazy new backstory that they invented for Venom, you'll definitely want to pick up this title. Pick number nine is Edge of Spider-Geddon number one and number two. 
This is a limited run. Uh, it's going to have four issues. And the first issue is going to follow Spider Punk. So if you picked up Marvel's Spider-Man for the PS4, you'll know that one of the skins that you can get if you pre-ordered is this crazy version of Spider-Man with a guitar and Spider-Punk is coming back at us and he's dealing in his Earth with aliens and all sorts of stuff. And this is the lead up title to Spider-Geddon. It's supposed to be the Spider-Man events of 2018. We're super excited to see what's going on here. They're definitely bringing a lot of elements. They want us to feel that nostalgia of Spider-Verse and having the edge of, just like they did the edge of Spider-Verse. So this will be a great issue to pick up if you're looking for the other spiders and finding out what's been happening to them since the Spider-Verse event. Issue number two is going to pick up with Spider. It's like SP forward slash forward slash or backslash backslash dur. And it actually stars Penny Parker. So Penny Parker was a fan favorite in Spider-Verse. And we're going to find out what she's been up to since Spider-Verse and spider get in number two. Pick number 10 is Hunt for Wolverine Dead Ends number one. This is a 40 page one shot by writers Charles Soule and we also have art by Ramon Rosanas. And how crazy is it that we've been going through all these Hunt for Wolverine stories to finally be here at the end. But it's a dead end. <laughs> we'll find out what happens, right? You've got to have all of these characters coming by, you've got Kitty, you had Daredevil, you have the X-Men, you had the Avengers trying to find out what happened to Logan, and they do, sort of, They're, they, they have to put the pieces together. Where has he been all this time? This is a lead-in to what they say is going to be Wolverine number one upcoming in September. They've already shown some really cool art of Logan back, and apparently he's like fire claws or something crazy like that. So this is a must read for those that have been following along for the hunt for Wolverine. That's it for my new series picks from Marvel Comics this August. If you'd like to nerd out with me, follow me on Twitter at Leon Scorpius. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Keep nerding out with all of us and we'll see you next issue. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch more from us, click on one of the thumbnails. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest shenanigans. Be sure to click the bell for notifications and check out the description below for a link to our Patreon page. See you next time!